Hopper from Drag Me to Hell. <laughs> uh, let's see, he is an academic. His name is Ram Joss. Uh, we decided that he's been an academic, um, sort of a PhD uh, in mythology and occult beliefs and things like that, but then decided to become a little more in the field. So then he leaves the university, uh, where he studied even more in India, grew up in England for a while for his, uh, you know, his, do- his doctorate, and then went around the world trying to find demons and vampires and proof, like physical proof of the supernatural and the surreal. And he's a man who lives on the edge of that world and this world. And in this story, Christine Brown, this very lovely, sort of normal girl, suddenly finds herself confronted by the forces of darkness, and I'm the guy who's going to guide her through them. How do you get involved with her character? Uh, she actually comes to see me uh, on the street. She sees my shop. She enters the shop on an impulse, comes in, and then we began this process of unraveling just exactly what has happened to this young girl. And boy, is it spooky. <laughs> All right, so uh, you obviously have a lot of passion for this kind of stuff. Have you ever like been involved, not actually involved, but like read about it or had a passion for the well, occult before? When I, well, I think that I always, spiritually, I think there's all sorts of belief systems. And there's some things that are older and maybe seem strange to us, but that are strange to the participants. And I've always read about those things, but really it was the research for the world where I began to read these books that I went and bought at the, uh, the boarding tree in LA. I bought all these books and I started reading them. And I started understanding that there are all kinds of layers of belief and things that we might think are weird, like really extraneous things, but you know the real the adherence of the participants, and you can't judge them like that if you're going to play this character. You know? So I have an interest in how people line up what they believe in. I think anything we believe in that rigidly can always seem strange to someone. You know, So in that way, I kind of want to be generous with the people I was researching about, and I thought that was, uh, that was one of the fun parts of playing this role. What about the genre of horror movies? Do you really like horror movies? You know, films? what's really funny is that I think, and I was just explaining this a minute ago, that I love horror movies that have story. Like The Shining is one of my favorite movies of all time, and it's not, you look at it, there's not a lot of action there's not a lot of uh, great, great. there's not a lot of that but a lot of movies that I've seen lately horror movies in the last 10 15 years especially the last 10 years are torture films or, or they're, they're snuff films almost and they're about you know extreme violence uh, and I watch them endure that and perhaps die there's no story in that and I have no interest in those kinds of movies really I like the story aspect of horror movies like when you see someone oh you shouldn't have done that you know you have that feeling when you watch a movie I love that tension and that's why it's a great pleasure for Sam is that his interest in these movies yes of course he has a really great creepy eye for what's going to be terrifying or funny, but he's also a master storyteller, a master craftsman. It's, uh, it's a joy to watch him work and be part of his process. Uh, Randy has a little bit of a reputation for abusing actors on set to get what he wants out of them. Got any good stories about that? Can you um, I can tell you that one day he's like, okay, pal, here's what we're going to do. You're going to sit over here and this chair is going to hit you. And I was like, wait a minute, what? And then, you know, it's a foam chair. It's not a big deal, but, you know, that's what you do. And I think a lot of that's also the reaction. It's crisp and real. And you're under the real circumstances and it's, it, it has a proper intensity. Like, uh, that's not true. He doesn't abuse anybody. But I do think that his quest for realism makes you take that burden on yourself. And as an actor, I think you'd be ready to do that. And I'm more than happy to do it for him. You know, he's the guy. Great. Dalip, thank you so much for Great your time. Great pleasure, man. Absolutely.